November 10th, 2015. And if you go to this awesome website called Organic Slant, you could see that I did this article on the Fukushima radiation detected off the uh, United States West Coast states, all of them, in 2015. And I did this on November 5th, just last week. And I'm using data right here that comes from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. And they did a bunch of readings in the water to test for Fukushima contamination. And I kind of thought something was up with it just because when you go into their website, they pretty much say that the contamination is really hasn't been a big deal and uh, Fukushima is nothing to worry about and then lo and behold today five days later I find out that the website which you can see right over here it's the Center for Marine and Environmental Radiation, the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. They ended up scrubbing their data for Fukushima, which is interesting because I just did a video yesterday on how I was saying the mainstream media, like Dr. Oz, is downplaying the effects of Fukushima and that you can't find uh, some of his videos that he did on his show on his own website they're gone so I was calling it a media scrub scrub and little did I know that this Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute is scrubbing their data because if you look in the corner here the data that they have is starting at 2013 through 2015 and I'll check this out there's the map and they basically almost have only three for this is the color for 2013 and there's I think three tests but they ended up scrubbing it because they uh, accused an activist they just charged Dana Dernford with criminal harassment two charges for threatening one of the scientists from Woods Hole but I find it interesting that just today they scrubbed all their data because if you look at their old website Look at the old website. It actually contained data from 2011, 2012. And see up there, they do have 2013. So let's click on the 2013 data on the old site. And look at how, how many tests they did with their little boat they took it either all the way to Japan or they went from Japan and all the way back to San Francisco or wherever the heck they went on the west coast there but this is the old site that they posted well let me show you the URL I don't know if you can see that where does it start right there it ends let's get a little closer That's the old site right up in there. And they have a lot of result markings here. Those are all tests. But if you go on the updated version for 2013, boom. They only have these two little buttons here pull it out. Actually they got three. Yeah, the three right there. One, two, three. 2013. And 
and I'm clicking on 2013 and they had a whole ton of tests now why are they scrubbing this I think it's because of this case up against uh, Dana Dernford here's their 2011 they had a couple on the west coast a ton of them in Japan there's 2012 2013 and here's 2014 and 15 combined looks like they went all the way up the west coast so let's start again 2011 2012 2013 and now let's go to the new site 2013 that's what it starts at. Where's 2012 and 2011? The only reason why they must be doing this is because they're trying to hide or scrub the data. It's the only reason why they could be doing this because this is a the purpose of their site is to test the waters for radiation. And they're either afraid of the results or they're trying to hide the results. Here's 2013. There's 2014. There's 2015. Now, if you go back to the 2011, right in here, check out the numbers. The numbers here for the cesium 134, 6.9, cesium 134, 6.9, Becquerel's. And that was sampled on April 20th, 2011. Looks like they got another test up in here. This was July 7th. It's 8.4. Cesium-134. I don't know what the heck's going on, and I'm just... I'm not dealing with the numbers in this video all I'm dealing with is what the heck is the reason why they would want to hide the data and there's got to be only one reason is because they don't want the data be to be out there now this is their new site you could look it up yourself and it's the results page right up in here it's called ourradioactiveocean.org forward slash results so that's it there's nothing there isn't a conspiracy on my part I'm just exposing this conspiracy because when you hide you uh, hide the truth and for some reason the truth they don't want out there that's it so you can make your own conclusions but my conclusion is there's a cover-up they're hiding stuff and they don't want you to know the truth about Fukushima so Dana Dernford needs money so we can uh, go up against this a zillion dollar nuclear industry or else he'll be put in jail and he actually took a ride up into British Columbia and found out that like the tidal pools don't have as much life as it used to have and there is a total collapse of the Pacific Ocean So, all I could say is maybe uh, open up your checkbook, whether it's a dollar or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, I would say give to Dana, 
and uh, hopefully he won't go to jail and hopefully the truth will come out and it won't be buried I know nobody cares about Fukushima you guys are watching whatever your soap operas your sports your football your cooking shows whatever but there is a global collapse of our Pacific Ocean fallout from this tiny little island right here called Japan is spewing radiation across the ocean and you gotta admit within the first year they detected radiation in tuna now people might think that the oceans the earth is a small place but this is a huge body of water imagine this is like a swimming pool or your bath and for these fish to be just a fish you know how big a fish is compared to the whole ocean Fukushima is spewing radiation and the Japanese government is dumping radiation into the oceans like there's no tomorrow and if the way things are going in Fukushima there is not going to be a tomorrow so I just want to point out the hypocrisy that people think that this whole woods hole um, I don't know if they're pretty smart at all because we found the old site boom I don't know if they are that dumb or they think we're that dumb but right there all you naysayers tell me why 2011 and 2012 is missing you pro nukers explain that one so it's amazing that one person can have this kind of effect that they want to cover up the truth but uh, I guess one person can make a difference that one person is Dana and that other one person is you and me so I'm gonna send him a couple dollars myself and hopefully the truth will finally come out maybe this was meant to happen so Fukushima could be exposed even more that nuclear energy is a bust and it's totally uh, fucking up our uh, globe and our home.